Hi there, welcome back to my channel 3D Creation with Blender. Today I want to share with you the process of updating an old model I found. This is going to be the first video in a new series I'm making about giving a facelift to our old newish models. This one is one of my earliest models. It's an Urugai from the Lord of the Rings movie made in Sculptrice and Blender. The main problem with this character is that it has some anatomical errors such as an extremely short neck and an odd mouth structure. There's also a lack of asymmetry, making the face uh, look dull and boring. The final renders had some shape key modifications to minimize those issues, but you can see it's clearly not enough. Another reason to reshape the model entirely is to give it a more neutral pose, so it becomes optimal to rig and animate. You can see here the asymmetry. There's not enough of that. The, the model looks uh, quite dull. The ears are not pointy enough. The mouth has an odd uh, curve in the upper lip and the lower lip. It's a mess. Okay, um, first thing I do is uh, I get rid of the uh, one half of the mesh so I can model using the mirror modifier. I have to separate the inside of the mouth, gums and teeth, so it's easier to work on each part. This head uh, needs to be higher, and it needs to be. It needs another um, X rotation. It's almost uh, if our friend here had no no neck whatsoever, which uh, should not be something so rare if you think about it. It's uh, I mean it's an arc after all. It's supposed to be deformed, but uh, either way. I feel he needs to look more muscular with broader shoulders and a longer and wider neck. There you go. The eyes also need uh, some work. I was using two separated objects for each eye, an internal mesh with a diffuse texture and an external mesh with a glossy transparent material. Both objects can be merged into a single one using two materials. Another thing to do, to do is uh, to combine all the UV layers. As you can see, I was using an entire image just to texture the eyeballs, and it's really not necessary in this model. We can include this using only one texture set. Okay, there you go. I'm going to use uh, proportional editing when moving the neck vertices. When I move a vertex, there is an influence area around it that moves with uh, the rest, the rest of the vertices. You can change the area size and the fall off mode. It's the closest thing uh, to use uh, to using the sculpt workflow in a edit mode. When uh, working with the mirror modifier, it's interesting to know about the clipping and merge options. Merge is activated by default, but uh, clipping is not. Um, what clipping does is every time a vertex gets uh, too close to the mirror side, it snaps to the limit instead of going all the way to the other side. Right now, I'm extruding the lips to create the inside of the mouth. 
if I scale those loops with the clipping option disabled, some vertices invade the mirror side. With the clipping option active, they will stop at the limit. If we are using the X axis to, to mirror our object, this will be the limit, the zero coordinates. There you go. Okay. That's it. Um, the mesh needs a lot of fixes. Maybe, uh, maybe we could be talking about a complete makeover. There's a lot of unnecessary faces in the forehead. There's a high number of polygons in areas that doesn't need that much. And on the contrary, there's areas that could use a little bit more. Okay, so... So let's start with the eye loops. There's obviously some unusual uh, loop structure there. There's quite unusual. Sometimes it's better to just delete the whole area and start it over again. All that gone. Yes, this is a problematic um, area. I'm going to leave it uh, for later. Okay. Now I need to reduce the poly count in the character's forehead. There's some loops that need to, to go. As you can see, I'm using the clipping option. So these uh, vertices don't go all the way to the other side, to the mirror side. loops need to go. that whole lip loop needs to go okay delete it when closing a gap between loops we can select two vertices and press alt and m to get the merge vertex submenu and select from first last center cursor whatever but there's a faster way of doing this as you can see, uh, I'm moving the vertices and uh, at the same time I'm uh, closing the gap. Uh, first we have to activate the snap button in the lower toolbar. Then adjust the options to snap to closest vertex. Check that the snap to itself button is pressed. So every time we move a vertex and it comes too close to another, it will snap to its position. Then look for another button with two arrows at the right of that same toolbar. That one joins the vertex that have the same coordinates. This way we can close the gap while moving the vertices. Yeah, looks uh, cleaner. Definitely looks cleaner now. Gonna, gonna sculpt a little more and leave the rest to multi resolution. Yes, I, I think that's uh, that's it. Okay, well, um, that's it for now. In the next video, I'm going to show you the new sculpt work using the multi-resolution modifier. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. 
until next time.